Welcome to API uh, Gateway Tutorials. So in this video, we'll talk about API Gateway Pattern. So let us uh, meet Michael. Suppose uh, there is a person called Michael who is planning a road trip. And uh, for his road trip, Michael needs a car with uh, services like insurance, speed throttle, navigator, etc. He can purchase all that separately, but he is looking for a simple solution. Now let us relate this with our microservice. An application needs a lot of information to run. Each information is taken care by a separate microservice. Now the question is how a client would fetch the information from all these services. How a client would fetch the information from all these services. A client device can be a desktop or a mobile device. In theory, a client can send a request to all the services individually so uh, let us see the drawback in such a design. If there is no gateway, suppose an application might use n number of services and a single client making that many calls is quite difficult. Each service might use a different protocol which might not be web friendly. Ideally an application should use HTTP and web socket protocol. It is hard to Merge the speed of service in this design. How to overcome this issue? Yes, you guessed it right. Using an API gateway. An API gateway is a server that is the single entry point into the system for all the clients. It can either route the request to one or many services based on the request. It is capable of exposing a client to different APIs based on the devices and it also helps in implementing security. Variation back and forth front end. In practice, our mobile devices will make fewer calls and will display different data than a desktop device. The general purpose API backend does a lot of work and hence a separate team will be required to maintain that. So to overcome all these, the before mentioned pattern can be modified to have a separate gateway for each type of client device. Each gateway has access to all the microservices. So what are the benefits of uh, this API gateway pattern? So gateway is like the tip of the iceberg that encapsulates the internal structure of the application. It insulates the client from local determination of service instances, provide a specific API to each client, reducing the number of round trips between the client and application. It also simplifies the client by moving the logic for calling multiple services from the client to API gateway. Restraints of API gateway. So developer need to update the gateway to expose the microservice endpoint, which might result in a risk of development bottleneck. Need to develop deploy and maintain an additional high available component due to the additional network hop through the API gateway, there is an increased response time. Client side discovery. Service discovery solves the problems on how microservices talk to each other, that is perform API calls. In a monolithic application, services are invoked by procedure or function call, but in microservice, architecture, the service location changes dynamically. To overcome this, you can make the use of client side discovery pattern. It makes use of service registry, which acts as an index for all the service and its location. To invoke a service, a client or a gateway will query the service registry and find the required service. Server side discovery. For the same scenario in the last card, an alternate solution is the server side discovery. Here, instead of querying the service registry, clients make the request to a router or any uh, load balancer gateway. This in turn queries the service registry and invokes the appropriate service. Even though this requires an extra component, the client code is simple, which only involves making a request to the router. So role of Role on gateways in service di discovery. 
द सर्विस डिस्कवरी कंसिस्ट ऑफ की वैल्यू पेयर सर्विस रजिस्ट्री एंड ए पी आई टू रीड एंड राइट टू दिस स्टोर सर्विस स्टार्टअप एंड शट डाउन स्क्रिप्ट शुड इंक्लूड कोड दैट रजिस्टर एंड अनरजिस्टर्ड इट सेल्फ वेन इट स्टार्ट एंड शट डाउन रिस्पेक्टिवली द रजिस्ट्री विल चेक द सर्विस हार्ट बीट पीरियोडिकली टू इंश्योर दैट इट इज फंक्शनल यू नो दैट एन एप्लीकेशन डिपेंड ऑन सेवरल सर्विसेज द क्वेश्चन इज हाउ टू कीप ट्रैक ऑफ ऑल दीज सर्विसेज consider uh, two services a and b service a needs to call service b but a has no idea where b is located now introduce a gateway in this scenario both a and b will register their ip address and port in gateway service registry now all the applications connected to the gateway can both access uh, can access both a and b and without gateways client devices and services cannot decide where to look for the other devices other services so a gateway which has client or service side discovery implemented will help in deciding the service location that is the ip address port and even their versions circuit breaker our microservice might depend on another it is called if one if the called service is down the this might result in high latency and it makes the application unusable and exhaust the available resources when the number of failure crosses a threshold the circuit breaker will trip and cause a timeout and after the timeout only a limited request is passed to the service and if, if it succeeds the normal operation is reverted else timeout continues so need for secure uh, circuit breakers in gateway now introduce a gateway in uh, with circuit breaker implemented it has a threshold time for which a service can be down after which the gateway itself will run an error message stating that the service is down this will avoid the request queuing since there is no timeout awaiting and in the background gateway tries to ping the service and when it is up the normal operation resumes so this is uh, all about api uh, gateway design patterns and thanks for watching and in the next slide we'll be talking about architecture of api uh, gateways